This video tip is part of an extensive series created by the Blue Ram Group for www.freshwatertropicalfishtanks.com and www.tropicalfishaquariumvideos.com to help aquarists understand the unique environment of their aquarium. In a previous tip, in our water series, Tip 9, The Weight of Water, we discussed how surprisingly heavy water can be, especially when the gravel, rocks, and other decorations are included. It is extremely heavy. In a standard aquarium, when the water, gravel, ornaments, and such as rocks are included, the average seems to be about 10 pounds per gallon. This creates a constant and very concentrated downward force on a very limited footprint, basically the actual dimensions of the aquarium only. Few, if any, pieces of standard furniture have been designed to hold this type of weight, no matter how sturdy the support materials may seem to be. A proper support for a filled aquarium must be designed with the pressures that the aquarium will exert specifically in mind. The majority of aquariums sold around the world are rectangular glass boxes. Glass, although extremely strong in many measures, is also very fragile under particular conditions. Any aquarium can be easily broken if stress is applied to the pane in ways it is not designed to withstand. The glass box must always be supported in such a way that there can be no lateral stress placed on the bottom or side panes. When stress is put on the glass, the crystalline matrix is distorted and stress cracks are often the result. When one occurs, there are usually disastrous consequences. It is no wonder that most manufacturers of aquariums state, specifically in their aquarium warranties and any accompanying literature, that the tank must be placed on a manufactured stand. Otherwise, the fish tank is not covered under any warranty. The warranty usually states the support must be designed specifically to support the installed weight of the aquarium. In other words, you must prove the support was specifically made for the aquarium it was holding prior to any leaks. Putting an aquarium on a table is a recipe for disaster. Tables and other flat surfaces rarely include any underlying structural support positioned directly under all the edges of the tank. Without an underlying structure to prevent warping and to withstand the constant exerted pressure of the aquarium. Without this general lack of matched struts for the aquarium edges, over time any surface will often settle and warp slightly. It doesn't matter how thick or solid the material may be, damage will occur to the furniture at some point. These changes may be imperceptible to you and I, but the glass's crystalline structure responds to this change by releasing the deformation with a stress crack. Another cause for many aquarium catastrophes is that the surface of the table gets wet through some water spilling on the surfa support surface. This causes the wood to swell. Again, it may not seem like much to us, but to a pane of glass already under tremendous water pressure from the contained water, it can be a very big deal. Our advice is very simple. Don't fight the odds. Ensure that your aquarium is supported on a properly designed and manufactured aquarium stand and that it has been assembled properly. This video tip is part of our ongoing Blue Ram Group project. As the video becomes available, each will be mounted within the FAQ section of the websites. If we haven't answered your personal question quite yet, you can get your particular aquarium-related questions answered for free by our experts by filling out the Ask a Question form at the FreshwaterTropicalFishTanks.com website. If you want to be notified as soon as each new video is made public, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to know each time a new video is added to the Blue Ram channel at http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Blue Ram 86.